What's up everybody, my name is Fallen Assault and welcome to Let's Learn Minecraft, the only series on YouTube dedicated to making you the best crafter in the game. Welcome to episode 2. So, for this episode I'm going to be teaching you guys how to farm. Now farming is absolutely vital, uh, which is why it's episode 2, because I think that you should be farming way before you mine, because you do not want to be down in the mine and start to starve to death with all... Uh, the materials that you have been gathering uh, so you should have a steady food supply before you start to mine and the farm is the best way to do it now we're not going to be making watermelons just yet because those are harder seeds to find but we're going to be using the common wheat seeds now um, I'm in a winter biome so it's a little bit harder I had to find a place where it wasn't all ice and uh, this is basically the outline of my farm so let me explain, you've probably seen people play and you're like, uh, why is there so little water? Well, the thing is, to make a dirt fertile, you it needs to be eight, within eight blocks of a water source block. Meaning, I don't need water on every row because look, here's one block, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So as you can see, it's eight blocks within a water source uh, block, meaning it's perfectly fine so we get all the land uh, f without wasting anything so this is like the best setup for a f 100 percent not not a good looking farm but a working farm uh, to get all the the bread you need okay so to get wheat seeds basically you're gonna need to uh, find some long grass which you can make using bone meal and just using the bone meal on the ground um, and you'll get a bunch of tall grass, but usually you can find it so you won't need to do that It will just be randomly um, Around so here's some here and as you can see once you punch it uh, Every so often you get a seed like there now it doesn't happen on every single one But every so often you do get a seed but uh, Obviously this the point of the series is to get straight to the learning which is why I have a chest prepared so let's get a uh, Let's first of all make our working bench because, uh, like I said, that's vital for pay pretty much everything you need in this game. And I said that in episode one, and nothing has changed. Um, all right, so let's get the rest of the material: some sticks. I'll show you why I need that later. Some torches, some seeds, and some cobblestone. Okay, so first we need to make sure that we can actually plant seeds into uh, this little base here. And to do that, we need to use a hoe on it. Um, so to make a hoe, you go like this, and boom. As you can see, we have a stone hoe. Uh, if you were to place wood in that position, be a wood hoe, gold, iron, uh, you know the drill by now. Any material that you want to be made out, made the tool to be made out of, will uh, make it out of that. <laughs> So it's as simple as that. Uh, now you just want to go up to the dirt and right click it and as you can see uh, it kind of flattens a bit and basically after a while it will start to um, start to look a little bit darker and that means that it is actually uh, fertile and that you can now uh, plant knowing that your plants will survive. You need to have it on fertile sto soil. Um, you can still plant without having it on fertile soil, but if you don't have it on fertile soil, eventually the plants will just pop up and you won't get any wheat. Alright, so now to show you what the main importance of sticks is. To Basically, we're going to need protection for our farm, and the best way to do that um, is to make fences. So, we're going to make some fences here, uh, like so. And we're gonna make a decent amount. We have a pr we have a decent sized farm to begin with. You can make it smaller if you want. Um, this is just for show, or you can make it bigger. It's uh, like I said, it's all for show. We're also gonna make a fence gate so we can actually get in. And you do that by putting two planks in the middle, um, and you get a fence gate. And now you can go in uh, once you place it. So our fence gate is gonna be right here, and we're gonna place the fences like so. Boom, 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 boom. We might need some more, that's fine. That's why I made sure we had a ton of uh, sticks. And, yeah. So we're going to need some more, and that's that's totally fine. Uh, sticks are pretty easy to get. You don't need a lot of materials for them. Um, 
because you get a lot of sticks from just a couple of planks. So let's do that. We got 32. That should definitely be enough fences to uh, complete our little mini farm. Oop, we almost forgot right there. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. All right, so now we have our farm. It's pretty protected from monsters or animals, so can't they can't just wander in there. Obviously, uh, by chance, one could fall over there because it's by a hillside. Uh, but we're not going to worry about that too much right now because uh, what are the odds, really? Um, we're going to take our chances there. Uh, now, before we plant, we're almost ready to plant the actual seeds, but we want to make sure that we have a sufficient light, light source. Um, now, this is this is not really necessary uh basically it's gonna be sun sun ugh, daytime sun time it's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna be sun time uh every single day and you're gonna have a, a good amount of time for for it to be daytime uh but that means you won't have any wheat growing overnight or if it does it'll grow very slow now if you have torches or light stone but at this point, you'll probably only have torches. We'll get into light stone later on in the series. Um, you just kind of go around placing it. And basically, this will give it light source in the night, which will speed up the growth just a little bit. And uh, anything to speed up the gro growth is fine by me. So, let's get down to planting the seeds. You want to just go up to the soil that you have now uh, made fertile. And you right-click it, just like you would if you were uh, trying to hoe it if you if you will uh and boom you just start planting right away and that's pretty much how you farm from here on out it's a waiting game um it might take a while uh depending on how much light you have um it could take a while to grow but uh it's just a waiting game from here your farm is done congratulations you are one step closer to being the best crafter in the game um so yeah that's it guys this has been let's learn minecraft episode 2 the farming edition stay tuned for more episodes uh we're gonna get some more advanced episodes coming up so thanks for watching